Well, when studying the Moedim, or the holy days, the festivals, it's so beautiful, the study of the festivals. Not just the study of the festivals from, a, you know, like it's a party or something like that. It goes much deeper than that, but it's supposed to be also a time of celebration and joy. But in ignorance, when ones are not illuminated about the real meaning, of the festivals. I mean, when one, when lost sheep don't even know that they are lost sheep of the Beit Israel, so there can be no real receptivity to the real importance of the Moedim, of the seven annual Hebrew festivals. And to a, a Christian, to someone who claims Jesus Christ or Jesus Christ is their Savior, and they don't understand the, the relation of the Old Testament types and the festivals are such key types because throughout the New Testament as part of the New Testament narration you find the various Hebrew festivals you understand and we see that Yehoshua HaMoshiach that gave to Jesus Christos that he kept these festivals so today is the eve of what's known as Rosh Hashanah now we just discussed a couple of days ago on September 11th, our Ethiopian Hebrew Rosh Hashanah, our Ethiopian Hebrew New Year. We spoke about the the Teruah, you know, we spoke about the remote memorial of the blowing of trumpets, you understand the, the Melchizedek uh, Metasebia Bamarenya, or the Teruah, or the Teruah in the Hebrew, and we touched on some of the basic points. There's a whole teaching that we had did on that lecture on that, and it's a very important lecture. We're going to have it available on the the audio teachings on the lectures page well, for many of the audio teachings. So if you want to get the fuller teaching on this, because this is going to be just a little update, seeing that this is the eve now of Rosh Hashanah. Now, some would ask, especially those who are paying attention, well, what's the difference between the, the time that the so-called Jews keep the civil Hebrew or Jewish, what they call the Jewish New Year, really it's the Hebrew New Year, what they call it Rosh Hashanah, because Rosh Hashanah and Teruah, you understand, is actually one and the same. According to the Orit, according to the Torah, it basically says that in the on the first day of the seventh month there shall be the blowing of trumpets. Now we connected this with the new year. You understand with the Hebrew, you understand the regenerated Israel, the new Israel of God, based on the historical and prophetical scriptures, the link with biblical Ethiopia. You understand with Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, and with that particular remnant, the stone that was cut out of the mountain, being the kingdom of David or David that was renewed in Ethiopia. But what is really, really interesting is when we start to ask this question, we say, well, how come the Ethiopian Hebrews have a solar calendar? See, the solar and the lunar calendar is very important when we understand prophecy and we understand this dispensation that we're in. Because now is the lunar Rosh Hashanah. But the sun or the solar Rosh Hashanah already came at least about seven, seven to eight days ago. You understand? Seven to eight days ago, September 11th. It's now September 18th. So that's about seven, eight days ago. And this is the eve. The 19th would be the day. So we have a roughly a space of, say, eight days. Eight plus one is nine. So we have 19. So we have eight days. The eighth day. The Sabbath day is the seventh day, and the eighth day is the first day. So now, what is the real link? You understand? Or the dissimilarity between the solar calculation, the solar calendar, and the lunar calendar. Now, according to the Old Testament, many of the Moedims of Yahweh Elohim took place according to the calculation of the new moon. See, the new month was basically the new moon. That's how it was computated and calculated. But it's a very important reason why, according to the Belui Kidan or the Old Testament times, that they were under the lunar 
calculation, but with the coming of the Moshiach of Getachin Jesus Christos, as the word of the epistles say, that we are not children of the night, but we are children of the day. You understand? We're not children of the night. You understand? In the Old Testament, we had our mother, but we didn't have the father. You understand? This is what Getachin Jesus Christos brought to us the fatherhood of God. You understand? The Israel and the Balui Kidan didn't know the fatherhood of God because they were under the mother, they were under the law. Now they're under the instruction through the Moshiach of the Father, and he has come to renew a new and living way. So the solar calendar and the lunar calendar. Ethiopian Hebrews, we are under the solar calendar, but we do have an observation to the lunar. This is why the Rosh Hashanah, even as the so-called Jews keep, is important for us to overstand. And it's important for us to see the link and the comparison, what the scriptures are actually speaking to us about the sun. About the sun. And who is the sun? That both the S-U-N, you understand? That is the solar sun. And then there is the S-O-N. Now, this whole thing about sun and sun and so forth and so on is based now on the language, you understand, of our captivity and the fall. But the Almighty, Yahweh Eloheinu, already knew that we would be in days like these. So as we study His Word and we search out of His Word, we begin to recognize that there will be a whole change of dispensation, like between old Israel and the remnant, the Ethiopian Hebrew remnant, and also with the calculation, because heaven and earth, you understand, a new heaven and a new earth, you understand, a whole new heavenly concept, dealing with the sky and the stars and the, and the planets and the universe, on that sort of solar and astral theological level, but then also the earth movements. So as we study the history, we can see the earth movements change, you understand? And how Christ fulfilled the Moedim of Yahweh Elohim, proving that he is both the sun, S-U, and the light, the true light, you understand? As well as in the prophetical scripture, like in Psalm, was it Psalm 72? Where it says, and as the sun, it, it links the comparison of the Moshiach, the comparison of the Christos to the sun, even in Revelation, even in Revelation says there won't be no need, you understand, of the sun and the moon and all these things, because we now see the linking of these things. Every three or four years, we see where the so-called Jewish Rosh Hashanah and the Hebrew the Ethiopian Hebrew New Year, September 11th, Meskaram And, is on the same day. We begin to see this. From year to year, if you follow the Moedims, if you follow the holidays, you understand, or the holy days, and the seven holy days, you will see that between the Jewish lunar, and this is a very important reason why the Jews are still under the so-called Jews are under the lunar, if you understand the whole teaching of the Luna and the lunatic and the craziness because they refuse to bow and to recognize the Moshiach. You understand? But every three to four, sometime even up to seven years, we see that these days, both the solar and the lunar, both line up. You see, you have to overstand this, this lining up. I think the last time it lined up was around, what was it? Was 2007? Was it 2007? Or even last year it was very close, but I think 2007, one of those years we had noticed that it had lined up. And we're going to do a little more research on this because this was something that came to us said, wait, it's Rosh Hashanah. One say, well, it's Rosh Hashanah. Why they have it at this time? Why the so-called Jews have it at this time when they celebrate some of the festivals that they do, the holy days, and then we have it at this particular time? What is the real astral theological link between the Old Testament Hebraic Luna and the New Testament Hebraic Solar. We are under the solar. We are under the sun. You understand? Both the Son of God, Gietach Jesus Christos, you understand? And the central primordial sun, you understand? Because we are melanated people and we are sun people, the true Israelites, just like the Christ, whose feet are brass as burned in the furnace of fire. So we have a link right there. Now, this does not give us a carte blanche on righteousness. Now, don't you think that for a moment? You understand? But it's just showing us the wonders in his word and what's really the truth in his word. 
as opposed to what men and people in the world which is under Satan Diablos our enemy would like you to believe so study up on the solar and the lunar calendars the solar and the lunar calendars the connection and also the disconnection between the so-called Jewish calendar which is lunar where they follow the lunar under the lunar vibe and the solar calendar the real Gregorian or the Gregorian calendar as opposed to so-called Julian calendar if you study that and the seven eight years difference see that seven eight that seven eight link is coming in so as we study it more we begin to see that this is actually a science this is actually a science it's predictable and it's calculable and it's a very important reason that a lot of this knowledge is coming to us because we look ahead we'll see when these two computations of time actually intersect and it's very important when these two computations of time the Hebrew lunar and the Ethiopic solar 